All right, y'all, welcome back to Combat Arms Channel. Okay, so today we are checking out another Ross Kemp video. Now, I think this one was probably the most requested Ross Kemp video that you guys were mentioning down in the comments. So this one is Ross Takes On Armed Men. I think this is the one you guys are talking about because you guys are telling me that I guess he was getting like robbed or something and he was basically just like taking it like a beast. So I think this is that clip. It's about three minutes long, so a little bit of a shorter reaction, but I really want to check it out. I've seen about five seconds and it already seems badass. So we'll just get right into it. Should be really solid. So I'm not sure where he is exactly, to be honest. You're the general? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who directed you? Uh, Lucas, yeah. We were told that um, we were gonna meet some guys that have some been involved in some trouble. Yeah. Okay. Interesting start. Is that true? Yes. Depends on what you want to know. You can have a tobacco. And Clearly, I'm being tested, so I accept so graciously. That's tobacco. Tobacco, yeah? Okay. It's going pretty good so far. Next, betel nut, <laughs> the infamous <laughs> stimulant that nearly everyone seems to chew in PNG. So what, this is the betel nut, yeah? Okay, yeah. Papua New Guinea. Show um, it. Yeah. all of them. Here you go. Here you go. Put it right in the middle of it. Mm. What is that, like some drug yeah, or something? What is the point of this? <laughs> it's a malicious way. All right, I've still got the cigarette and they trying to kill me in one fell swoop. <laughs> That's one way to lose weight, I guess. Give me a minute, give me a minute. Sit down. You're holding us up? Give me a minute, give me a minute. Have you got a gun on Okay, well that turned pretty quick. So we have the cameraman, we have the mic dude, and then we have Ross Kemp just chilling here. I gotta say, his shirt is pretty tight, but he is definitely rocking it. And you guys tell me that he's, you know, he played the role in EastEnders, which I wasn't too familiar about, and then I watched some of it, and it's just so much better actually seeing him in this sort of situation. It's, it's fucking awesome. So, okay, this is going to be an interesting turn. Let's see how this ends up. Show, 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 show. He's serving with that rifle Push there. Around. Show me your gun. Shit, down. Might as well have like muskets to be honest. Are you gonna kill me? <laughs> He's not even scared. Sit down. You're not gonna are you gonna kill me? Are you gonna kill me? Sit down. No? You gonna kill me? He second guess it now. No one's gonna fucking kill me. Alright? Yeah, so I proved myself, eh? You all right now? Yeah. But no, I'm not going to be taken <laughs> down. scared you shitless. <laughs> you warrior, yeah? yeah, yeah. You understand you're me? Warrior, you're warrior, I know. You were very courageous. Was I? Yeah. Thank you. I can say that now. Yeah, they rise, they fucked up. <laughs> that's what we do. Yeah, you I mean, I, that's not really the best way to, to test someone. I got to say, I personally wouldn't fuck with Ross Camp. I mean, just the bald head alone. He, he, he's got nothing left to prove. He's ready to start fucking people up, but... I mean, these guys and those weapons look like they've seen better days, and he was not having that at all. But, I mean, okay, I guess that's one way to, to test them. Help people up, sure. yeah, yeah, and that's how it works, yeah? yeah? Doesn't that give your country a bad name if you do that? Oh, well, who cares? Yeah. Who cares? Mm. Who cares? Well, maybe the people... The government does not care about us, so we don't care about this. Okay. You got my point? Yeah, well, you're saying that no one cares, therefore I can do what I want to do. Mm. I've been in the system, I know... Yeah. It's corrupt, that's why. You rob people because you say the system is corrupt. Yeah. But aren't you corrupting the system by being a robber yourself? No, no, it's no, no. It's not no. helping. That, you know, I'm not corrupting it because the government does not care about uh, the ordinary people, then if it's not the government of the people, then we are... Do you hurt people when you rob them? Yes, of course, when it's necessary. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, I mean, okay, I guess it's not necessarily... What is going on there? I mean, I guess it's not necessarily corrupting further, but it's definitely not helping the situation at all. But okay, so Papua New Guinea, I mean, I know we have soldiers go there every now and again to do some training, but I've not seen a whole lot from Papua New Guinea. I know there's like, I know it's pretty close to Australia, but that's pretty much all I know about Papua New Guinea, to be honest. So I'm not sure exactly what he was doing there, but... I would like to see the full episode and sort of see what Lord, what sort of led to him going into this situation and then what sort of happened at the end. Because I know he's trying to, like, 
you know, try and, and talk to them and see what's going on, kind of, kind of get them to understand that what they're doing is not necessarily the best way. But, I mean, they're probably not going to change what they're doing, especially since they don't really have any reason to. So, okay, this was an interesting one. I definitely understand why you guys were recommending it because it was just badass. I mean, the, I, mean, I got to say, even the camera guy and the sound guy were sort of taking it pretty, like, you know, pretty calmly. Sound guy was kind of just like, what's going on over here? And then you had the one dude, like, on all fours or something all of a sudden. So, I don't know. I mean, it sort of happened really quick, but I got to say, he beasted that, which is awesome. I mean, you guys have a lot of respect for Ross Kemp. I have a lot of respect to him for what I've seen, and this was just, <laughs> this is just badass. He he probably got to, to bring out some of that EastEnders in there, you know, trying to, to really flex on these guys, but okay, this was an awesome video. Thank you guys for the recommendation. Keep sending the awesome recommendations, especially the Ross Kemp videos, because these are awesome. Again, I haven't really seen these growing up, because I guess he didn't, these don't play on, on US TV. I'm not sure which sort of channel they do actually play on, but... Now that I'm actually getting to catch up on all the Ross Cam stuff, I'm loving it. Even some EastEnders is kind of funny. So thank you guys for the awesome recommendations. Keep throwing them down below. If you guys want to check out the Discord, you can do that as well. Send some more recommendations down there. You can check out the Patreon. You can check out the merch, all that good stuff. Thank you guys for continuing to support the channel. But that is it for this video. I will see you on the next one. Where's your round in it? Where's your round? Show okay, he's, <laughs> he's asking where the round is. I had to see this again. It's so good. He's like, show us the round. Shut down. Give money. Give money. Give money. Give money. Really? Give money. What a beast. He's just trying to take a sip of his water. <laughs> it's so good.